Only if life gave me a second chance to grow all over again. Hey there, this is Unmesh and we all love second chances. But let me tell you something, three chances are better than two and four better than three and infinite number of chances better than all of them. But I don't know much about life, but one thing I'm sure of and that is Photoshop. How about unlimited undos in Photoshop? So that whenever you make a mistake, no matter how much time you spend, no matter how many steps you go, you can always go back and rectify that. But here's the thing, I'm gonna tell you how to do that, but here's the thing. Please don't blame me, please don't kill me, please don't unsubscribe and, and just keep faith in me. If you find out after the show and the episode that everything I talk about in this episode is a false and is a lie. But I guarantee you one thing, this will be useful. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's hit it. If you have ever used a computer before, which I'm expecting you have, you must have come across this function which is called undo. And what that function does is that whenever you make a mistake, whether it be Microsoft Word or Paint or any application, you can always select the undo function and you can always go back a step. Now Photoshop also has this feature, but suppose you're working for long, suppose you have a lot of steps involved. You must have observed that there is a limit to undo. Depending upon the version of Photoshop that you're using, you might be getting 20 to 50. 50 is the maximum limit for undo. Suppose you worked, uh, had a thousand steps in the image working that you do, image work that you did, and you want to go back, say, 100 steps. You cannot go back. You have a limit of, say, 20 or 50. After that, the limit doesn't work. But here's the thing. You can increase that limit. In this video, we are going to learn how to do that, but there are certain cons to it. There is a disclaimer to it. So let's first learn how to do that and then let's discuss what are the drawbacks and what are the negative aspects of doing it. So here I have Photoshop and to increase the limit, all you have to do, you have to go to Edit, Preferences and Performance. In Performance, in History states, now the limit is set by default to 50 for Photoshop CC 2017. You can always go ahead and increase the limit to up to 1000. And here was the lie. You cannot have unlimited undos in Photoshop, but you can have a thousand and that's more than enough, much more than enough. And it's also much more than your CPU and your computer can handle. Now there's the disclaimer. There's never going to be a machine or a device that can give you unlimited undos. Let me tell you why. Because in this whole universe, it's logically impossible to create a machine with unlimited space. Let us understand that. Suppose I, let's get it back to say a uh, hundred. Okay. Now. Every time I do a change, let, let me open up the history panel to show you what's happening. I would go to Windows and History. So I'm in this layer, suppose I moved this layer, history panel saved it, like it says I moved it. Then, suppose I made it a little bigger, okay? It shows me, history panel, that I have free transformed it. See, now, it shows me that. Now, if I put, say, get a text to and write something, okay, it says me that new type layer. If I change the text, it will say me that. If I go ahead and just rasterize this and if I put the eraser tool, see, it also showed me that I rasterized it and then if I take the eraser and erase something, it will show me that even if it hasn't erased anything, but it shows me that I have used the eraser tool. Now. If I go ahead and press Control Alt Z or Command Option Z if you're using a Mac, it goes back, right? It goes back like any undo function. Now, whenever I do a step or an action in Photoshop language, it saves it in the computer. It saves it in the RAM. And every RAM 
every computer has a limit. There's only an extent to which your memory can handle it, your RAM can handle it, because no device in the world has unlimited storage. Now here's the thing, you can set your limit to 500, you can set your limit to 1000, but suppose you're working, working and working and every step that you do is being saved in the RAM and there's a lot of load that you're putting to your RAM and the more the load to the RAM and you know better than me, the more the load to the CPU, the more the space your files are eating up in the CPU in the computer, the more slower your software will be the more slower your Photoshop will be. So you need to find a balance. You cannot just drag the slider all the way to the 100,000. You cannot do that. You need to find a balance where speed is also okay and the history states are also good enough for you to go back the amount of steps that you want to go. Now to find a balance, you would require some trial and error because it all depends upon your computer, how fast your computer is, how fast your RAM is, how, how big your RAM is, how fast your processor is, it, it's a lot of factors. So without looking into all of those technical aspects, what I would suggest you to do that in your normal workflow, increase the history states to as much as you need, see if it's working or not, if it's working fine, if it's not working, bring it down, okay? In Photoshop's original blog, in Adobe's original blog, I'll just show it in screen right now, you can see that one of the ways to optimize your Photoshop performance is to lower the history states. So that itself clears it that the more the history state, the slower your Photoshop will be. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, Make sure to subscribe and do give us a like for more videos like this in future. This is Unmesh signing off and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.